Chief, on behalf of the men and women of Prince George's County Fire Department, Local 1619, and the volunteers, we'd like to present you with this passionately pink shirt. I want you to know we've raised approximately $10,000 to go to the Susan G. Komen Passionately for Pink Fair Cure in a local firm, All Shades of Pink. Outstanding. $10,000? $10,000 as of right now, because you extended it to the 31st, we were able to raise more money now. Very good. Outstanding. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you very much. much. Appreciate it. Raising money, and so far, our folks just uh, just told me that we've raised over ten thousand dollars for this campaign to be donated to the cause. So we'll continue for the next two weeks to wear the shirts in the department, and, and hope to raise awareness. So I guess you have to authorize a change in uniform to allow for the pink. Yeah, I am a uniform person, so uh, authorizing uh, any change in it uh, is, is just a little traumatic. But you know what? For the right cause, it's the right thing. To do. Well, one of the things that really hit me hard was that one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. And if you look around the station here, we've gathered a lot of people here today for this presentation to the fire chief. We have seven women here today. And if you think about it, that's not that many women in the department, but one in eight will be diagnosed this year. And that to me is a lot. And it's way too much. And so to have survivors um, in the department, which we do, and um, to have people who are affected in their family, which we do. Um, it's really important for me to get it out there that people need to go, women need to go especially and get their mammograms done. The only way to prevent it is to detect it early and you know, we definitely want people to go and get their mammograms. So the more you wear pink and the more you make people aware, the more they're encouraged to go and get mammograms.